Hey hey, I am Izzy Noodle. Welcome back to Fading Light 2. We are here in the Shadows of Opulence level at the Pettigrew Mansion. And at this point we could have chosen to go to Hall of Secrets, so it did give us the option which level to do first. So I chose this level first as it was easier when showing the setup for each level in the previous video. So here we can see we've got a lot of swamp that we don't really want to go through because we'll not make it through. But around some of the islands there's some shallower water sections so we can easily run and jump over to here. And then just approach this note on the ground. Extract from Captain Graves diary. Excellent, this map I found indicates the safe stones to step on. However, rather than needlessly risk my own life, I will utilize one of the motorboats these gangsters use instead. Lara's notes. I hope he left me a motorboat because my boat is no longer usable. So basically, yes, Lara used a boat technically. So last video we ended at the docks so that we could arrive at this location. So yeah, surely she did use a boat, but that all happened in the level transition and she no longer has a boat. So we will be getting to a boat to help us out. So now just hop across the safe stepping stones that note saved in your diary. And the tree just to the right on that island, you can see an item there. We can jump over to it from the stepping stones, but I will save that until we have the boat. Okay, and now just be sure you have your pistols. I believe I didn't have my pistols there from previous practice. Um, so, yep, shoot that out, do a running jump. And here's the boat, except we can't get it out. We need to open that gate. So firstly, I'm just going to run along to the end here for this med pack. And then we'll just need to open up this door. We can use the hunting spear. Okay, come inside this creepy hut and around on this dresser, there are some flares. So what we actually need to do is we need to get down into the basement. So we just need to move this rug out of the way. Okay, and then hop on in and go ahead and pull this lever. Awesome stuff. So also down here, we've got a shotgun. And something new is going to be introduced to the game in various levels. There's going to be these angel statues. There's a few in this level. So if you're close to these, your health will go up. So I'm going to try not to use these, although some of them are unavoidable. I need to go straight past them. But this is not a no meds walkthrough, so it kind of doesn't really matter all that much. I will be using med packs. So now we have access to the boat. This flyby is showing us what we need to do. So it's showing us various levers in the area. Okay. So hop into the boat, do not overshoot the boat, <laughs> otherwise you will actually, um, there's no way out, <laughs> you'll just sink and drown. So firstly, coming over this way, as I've said, I will grab this item that's on this island section, now that I have a boat. So this is Uzi Clips. Okay, we've got a gangster there. You can choose to ignore him if you want. I'm gonna shoot him anyway. So he can't target me from here, but just remember if Lara can target him, he can target her. So just remember that. So I could just hop forward and use my revolver, get rid of him pretty quick, but I don't have many shots. I wanna try and keep those shots. 
So what I will do, I'm just going to combine my uh, laser sight with the crossbow. And then I can shoot him from here at a safe distance. So it kind of looks like, sometimes it looks like you're completely missing, but as long as you can see like little blood splats, you are hitting him. Oh, not that time. <laughs> awesome. So he is out of the way. So now hop over to the first lever. And it's shown us the second lever. So now back in the boat. Careful not to crash into the walls as well. Because, yeah, you can, you can do a, a big number on yourself, just crashing into stuff. So this guy actually did drop some ammo as well. So to get to it, you want to be pretty close to the railings, and you should be able to easily hop through. I don't believe you can hop through the end railing. I believe that didn't really work out for me. But these other two railings this side are just fine. Now just aim very carefully for the boat. So here is lever two over here. Whoop. Gosh darn it. Okay, just hopping out for another item. Okay, next we'll move on to lever three. So I am just gonna kill a guy because he's gonna be shooting me the whole time I'm gonna be trying to do stuff with the lever. Okay, and he drops a med pack depending on where he is when he dies. He might actually just fly straight into the swamp section and you will lose the med pack. So he wasn't that close to the swamp, but it looks like I've lost it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be around, so I have lost the med pack. So that can happen. That happens quite frequently to me. But now he has been done in, back to the boat. And now we're actually going to uh, do a big old leap. You see, we kind of had a, you know, got nowhere to go, but we're just going to fly straight over there. A cowabunga, okay. <laughs> so hopping out again just here, we have another item. And I'll just need a, to be a little closer to the lever just there to be able to get to it. Okay, so the last lever, there's a block in the way. So we need to pull these first three levers and also do the next task in order to remove that block. So the next task is kind of annoying and kind of tricky. So I'll actually be saving a fair bit. So be careful of those spikes just there. I kind of, I went the wrong way round. I liked to parallel park this way. Okay. So past the second pillar just here, there's a med pack. And for this bit, you can be in the boat or you can be on foot as I'm doing. So the gate just there, once I approach that, will have a sea dragon. So that's the kind of monster that will just spit out fireballs at you and have the horrible moth bat things that just take your health right down. So this is pretty annoying. So just a cautionary save here. 
and as I've said, just for this bit and other bits that I do struggle with in this level, or the game in general, I'm gonna do a lot of saving. Oh, I must get past this beast. Helps my boat? So basically we are going to use the boat to help us out. We'll need to open the gate first, so just come up here, don't climb too high. Just hop up and take two climbs, otherwise you will be in the line of that fire. That was close. Okay, so the gate is open and just hop on down. So we'll take a tiny bit of damage, that's fine. Try to avoid the fireballs, they, yeah, I was gonna say, they really do home in on you. <laughs> Okay, so I was gonna say hopefully it's not spat out any little uh, bats, but after that near miss fireball I don't think so. So I kind of just went around there to see if I could get away from any potential bats. That's the only re reason I drove straight off <laughs> just there. So now the next part of the plan. Right. So I am gonna crash right into the dragon. So you can be in the boat if you like. You will take significant health loss though. So I'm going to show you the uh, the leap of faith of jumping out of the boat at the right moment. So making sure you do not take your finger off the action button. We are going to leap out. If you take your finger off the action button, the boat doesn't necessarily make it all the way over to the dragon. So timing it right, I'm going to have another save. Okay, there are some steps to easily get out of the swamp once you've leapt into the swamp, so don't worry so much that you're leaping into the swamp. Awesome, so we have these horrible pesky bats. So I think sometimes ducking is actually quite helpful, crouching down. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Not so much health loss from that. And yeah, it can take off like three quarters of your health if you are in the boat. But now we don't need the boat anymore. And we're gonna do a horrendous timed run into the house. I really don't like this run. <laughs> it's a very snug timer. So here is lever four. This is timed. So when I pull the lever, I'll do that before saving. It's gonna show us not exactly where we're going, but it's showing us, okay, a door has opened. Okay, off we go. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen at all. <laughs> what are you doing, Lara? Yeah, so here's the door and you can see how annoying that timer is. So this is going to take me a while.
So we can see behind us we now have crocodiles. I forgot to prepare my shotgun, which happens often, <laughs> pretty much every time. So quickly go ahead and grab that, or at least something that's gonna help you out real quick. Okay. And there is a note right here. Priestess Villette's notes. The items needed for the cleansing ritual are my Grigri talisman, a bottle of rum, and a ceremonial skull. I will also need to make a voodoo doll with an article of the subject's clothing. The ritual will be complete once all the objects are placed around the ceremonial bowl on the table. So basically in this level we're hunting for specific items. So right here in the corner we do have some arrows. And there's nothing to do upstairs just for the moment, so the door to my right is also blocked off from this way. So heading this way, we have some shotgun shells just down in the uh, in the weeds. And here's some rum. <laughs> what an outrageous waste of rum. Okay, that's fine, we'll find some different rum. Also, let me just save after that tricky timed run. I don't want to have an accident and I have to do that again. So also being careful of the doors, that's kind of what reminded me that maybe I should save the game. So there's another note over here, but let me just point out before I approach the note, the only other doors in the room are closed. Colonel Pettigrew's riddle. Laura's notes. There's a riddle here. It says I must light the fire under the portrait before I can begin, and that I will find a torch behind another painting. It then goes on to say I must travel from each diamond patterned tile to patterned tile towards clues which will be revealed, and that I must step on these codes to activate the next in the sequence. It warns that the walls are counted in as part of the sequence. However, the tiles stepped on to go around the blocking wall are not included. Each set of new directions is from the next tile beyond the code. So essentially I must follow the trail stepping on each of the special coded tiles along the way. Now that to me is a little confusing, but it's the same puzzle in Ghosts of Croft Manor. Same level builder, so we used the same puzzle, so that's fine, we can deal with that. I will uh, talk about that when we get there. So firstly, we need to find the torch to light the fire. So both these doors have now opened. So we got some flares here, and I will actually just, so you can get your bearings, I'll go the long way around. So finding the torch, come this way, and then through into this room. Come on, doors. We have some shotgun shells here. And it says the torch is behind another painting. That's this painting. So you can shoot this if you want. You don't have to. You can just reach straight into this handhold and grab the torch. So going the long way, as I said, here we are. We're back. So I just wanted you... Uh, I always like to help viewers get their bearings as they're watching. Because sometimes they're not necessarily watching it to help. Sometimes they just like my videos for the entertainment value. And here next to me, there is another note. Dearest Peter, I suspect that our esteemed guest, Milady Dominique, is not who she claims to be. I wish I could discuss this with Father, but she has some sort of mysterious hold over him. I know he must be lonely since Mother died, but I feel there is something more to this affair, and I intend to make some discreet inquiries. Yours lovingly, Jane Pettigrew. So after reading that, the portrait starts to do strange things. I have a feeling this is the Lady Dominique. So here is where we can light the torch. I very much appreciate these bars so that you don't accidentally step into the flame. And then go ahead and light the fire. So now East 2 has appeared on that portrait. So basically this is the tile puzzle. We're facing north right now and we need to go east to tile spaces. So once you've reached the tile you'll get the next hint. So unlike Ghosts of Croft Manor, this puzzle has the markers on the floor to help you out. And these tiles are patterned with diamond. So you can count the diamonds. So that makes it a little bit easier. 
So these markers on the ground don't appear like all at once. You need to activate one to activate the next one. So now West 5, and this is where it starts trying to emphasize the wall situation. So we have uh, one tile space, and then we need to go around. So this is the second space along. Three, so back to where we were. There is actually this uh, thick block in the way. That's fine. Fourth tile, just here, and then five. So now we're going north six. <laughs> so watch out for that creepy moving chair. <laughs> Keep on going north. There we go. So now we're heading east 12 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So quickly just grab these Uzi clips here as well. Do be careful in this room and there's a couple of spike traps on the floor. You don't want to step on those. So we're heading south four places. One, two, three. Just pull this lever. And another crocodile will have shown up. So this is the space, and then we're heading east four, so going around the door. And now up. So we just want to be on the same tile space, but on the floor above. So these items have now appeared, they were not here earlier. So we have a mansion key and a Colombian doll. So the mansion key opens that door there, so now we'll be able to start exploring the rest of the mansion. Before I do, I will just take a bit of a detour for a secret and some items. So this painting here looks like it's not quite like the others, so that's actually a button. So pushing that, as you can see, opens up these uh, the doors here. Got some Uzi clips just in the doorway. Some arrows. Now come all the way to the far end. Grab this med pack. And now to get to the secret, you can just shoot that barrier. Okay, and then just shimmy along over here. And we have a grenade launcher and some grenades. Now, because I can be attacked, we're going to activate some enemies. I'm just going to have a, another cautionary save. Sometimes, because we're in the house, it's easy to forget to save. Like, there's not all that much danger, really, is what I mean by that. Also, I'm just forgetful. So now we have some uh, gargoyles come to life, like the harpies. And remember, they are poisonous. They won't necessarily poison you with each touch. But this is kind of what I wanted my uh, revolver pistol for. So I did waste a shot. I have one more shot left. Okay. I'm going to equip my shotgun. Shotgun's pretty powerful in this one. There we go. All good. Okay. So now proceeding on with the order of business. So using the mansion key, we can now come into this way. We have some spooky noises going on. So just grab this med pack and then we're gonna come through this door that was making some noise. Boo! Okay, there's nothing here. Everything's fine. Okay, so <laughs> stop panicking. We can shoot this out and we have a toy choo-choo train. 
That's all there is. So not all that scary, it's quite quite a nice item to find. <laughs> so just heading into this first room, kick the door in. And there's some shotgun shells over in the corner. And there's a few like creepy looking dolls around and about, they're kind of weird. But in this dollhouse, we can grab a wind-up key for the train, so don't be too close to this, otherwise Lara will not try and open this. Hey, up! what is happening? Okay, so all the dolls have come to life and we are currently trapped in the room because, uh, well, the, there's a chair on fire. They don't seem to be able to see me here, which is kind of weird. Usually they would just home in on you. Okay. So yeah, if you go near the chair just there, it will set you on fire. So you don't want to be doing that. So if you do look around to find a way out, you'll see the hatch on the ceiling. So we need to just pull out this table in order to climb up to there. up and we can get out of this room. So unfortunately she doesn't just flip out of the gaps so we'll have to turn around. That happens all the time in my house. So continuing on, we'll come to this door here, and also there is a ceiling hatch, although technically it's not a hatch, we can't open it manually, nor can we open this door manually, so we can't do anything with these for now. But there is this very odd tile, this is actually for the train, so it's not all that obvious why this tile is odd, but that's what we're using here, we can use the train. I better not lose this, I might need it for later. The toy train can only be used three times throughout the game before it is destroyed. If the train object is used on one of the special activation squares after a save has been reloaded, it will count for one of the sequences even if it has already been used on that tile, and thus, when it is needed for another sequence, it will not be possible to get past the spikes later in the game. Make sure that the train is only ever used once per activation square. So this kind of doesn't make too much sense to me. I think it's trying to tell you, try not to make a mistake and use it more than once on each tile. So it's good that it lets you know that. So now come to the end and pick up the train. So as it said, we might need this later. So firstly, grab this skull. I nearly <laughs> forgot about this. So that's another important item in the bag. And I'm gonna come into this room next. Oh heavens! So there's too much flame. We're trapped in the room. Flames and scary things. Nope, go away flames. We don't need your nonsense. So just go ahead and shoot that box and all the flames will disappear. So now in this room, 
We have another letter here. Dearest Peter, my hand trembles as I write to you. While I had retired to the study with an old book by my side, I saw something that will change me forevermore. I think I may have taken leave of my senses, but within its pages was a likeness of Milady Dominique herself. She is but a young woman in her mid-twenties, and yet this portrait I discovered can be no less than 250 years old. Oh, Peter, take me away from here. I feel a deathly chill down my spine, as if she was watching me now. I must be careful until you come for me. Yours lovingly, Jane Pettigrew. Mmm, very mysterious. So also, I will just go ahead and pull this lever to open the door. This is next to where I used the train. And it opens the hatch as well. So you have a choice of two things to do now. You can go up into the attic or I'm just gonna go ahead and come this way. So I recommend the room that was next to the ceremonial skull. You leave until you've done at least the attic. So coming this way, there is an item at the end. Uh, wrong end, I apologize. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Okay, so from here, so actually this is where the uh, the sea dragon was. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and hop over to that section. We'll need to get the Greek retalisman from over there, so you can easily do a running jump. I haven't saved in a while. Okay, so doing that, what's my health like? It's actually really good. So I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty okay. So once we hop on over, we will have some bats. I'm going to quickly get out of the angles that it's going to show us. It's going to show us we're being watched. So try and see that real quick. There, look. So just did a roll because I wanted to avoid the bats. You do, uh, you get less damage done to you down here in the water. I think just because you are a bit lower, as I've said, about uh, crouching down. And you do want to get out of the water pretty quick because there is a crocodile too. Okay, all good. We're doing just fine. So we need to set ourselves up for doing stuff and things in this section. So we need to go over there, but we need some blocks in order to be able to get over there. We're going to pull a lever, which will then help us to get over the wall over there. So, where to begin? So just swim until you find a block that you can pull out on. And it's pretty cool that these all are for Colonel James Pettigrew, all these uh, gravestones, although it's kind of weird that all of them are, but it's a nice touch. So there we go. There's step one done. So don't step into the swamp section here. Of course, this is why we have the blocks. Okay, so jumping over to the lever here, do not grab, because otherwise she'll not make it. Okay. So just return back over. And now, so you, I mentioned the angel statues here. We are going to have to use this tile to help us get over. So we are forced to be given health. How outrageous. Absurd. Okay, so now we're over here. So the block that I just stepped on is the one that raised up to help us out. And it's going to help me push this over the edge. So we're just going to push this off the wall. Okay, so this will help us get past the blocks there. So we can walk through the swamp, but obviously we're just going to be real slow. So this swamp section is not dangerous. 
So I just need to put this into the correct position so that we can get over the uh, the moving blocks. Okay, so leave it here just so you start wading into the weeds just here. So this is the best place for this. Okay, so I don't remember the last place I saved. I think it was before I jumped into this section. I didn't have any trouble trying to hop over these moving blocks until the last time I practiced. <laughs> so usually it's like, yeah, YOLO, off we go, straight over, running jump. But last time I kept like stopping on an invisible wall above the block and just then I'd land down and it'd be in its path. So do be careful with your jumps just in case. Yeah, just like that. So I guess I just got lucky these last few times. Okay, so now we see... Oh, I'm stuck on something. <laughs> so we see what looks like a keyhole. It's not a keyhole. It kind of has a keyhole shape on it to bamboozle you. So just come around to the back of this. There's a slope to help us up. push the button and now the dead are rising it's like scooby-doo on zombie island that is an amazing film by the way so now everything oh no that was not supposed to happen at all <laughs> I wanted a running jump Okay, I was saying so now everything has stopped moving and we're fine. Do a running jump over there to get a bit of distance away from them zombies. There's another one here, but you can just get out just in time. So the zombies are incredibly poisonous. Do not let them touch you. And while they're still touching you, they do an incredible amount of damage. So, we opened up the gate that's over here. So now we're going to go ahead and go through here. So do be careful, we have another spike trap. We'll need to use our toy train. I better not lose this. I might need it for later. So being careful of the flame that's straight ahead. So I will have a save here because sometimes it can just go a bit wrong. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way in the inventory again. Okay, so just cautionary places where I feel like I am better off having a save. So when the flame is not active, this is why it can go wrong. <laughs> sometimes you can get caught in the flame and just grab the green green talisman that's on the side there. When you do, Make a run for it, because we will activate a wraith. And there is a zombie to the right, just ignore it, keep on going. And the angel statue is where you're going to want to get rid of it. So once you're kind of uh, a little bit closer, like halfway there, it recognizes the angel. So they're pretty good at just homing in to the statue. And now we are done in this section and we're going to go back to the mansion. So again, I will have to uh, get close to the statue and have some health given to me. How disgusting. Okay. <laughs> 
so we'll have some uh, guys with some guns now. So one there and one this way? He's usually this way. Are you there? Okay then. Um, now I don't know what to do. Where are you? Don't mess up my walkthrough. There you are! Like, oh, sorry. I was late. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> so, just to get your bearings, we've actually come back in where... Uh, well, that the room ahead is where we picked up the torch. So this is where we are. So now we're going to head back upstairs. So we just need to pick a route to take to get back there. So that camera angle always happens there. Mind the spikes. So now, as I've said before going into the end room, I do recommend doing the attic. So the moment you start to actually, uh, you know, climb onto the flat surface, save the game. I better not sprint while I'm up here. The floor does not look safe. So there are markers on the floor, you need to stick to the markers. If you stray from the markers, you will be put right back to the beginning, except you'll have a bit of health loss each time. So it's not easy to see the markers because, yes, they disappear a lot. So kind of try and run in one swift movement because you are actually being chased by a demon dress. So not the doll, don't worry about the doll. Um, I forgot to mention these dolls can be poisonous as well. So I opened a door. Go away, dress. And pick this up. This is a dress fragment. It gets rid of the dress. Now this can be a little bit confusing because once you've opened this door, let me save my game in case there's a mistake. Don't want to do that again. I made that look easy. That has made me rage a lot in the past. Even when you are not straying from the tiles, it puts you right back at the start. Like, what are you doing to me? Um, so you're supposed to take the route that I took on the safe tiles, but in the past, I've actually managed to just come straight over this way. And uh, also, because uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. And also the dress has kind of blown up before I've even picked up the item. So I think those are not supposed to happen the way I've done it now. Seems to be the correct way. But now we've dealt with that, the dress is gone, we have free roam of the attic. So you probably did see a med pack as I was running around. So I will grab that. I will first also grab a secret behind the barrels just here. Yeah, sometimes I save after the tricky parts as well because I just I just don't want to do it again. <laughs> so it's it's good to save. It is good to save. That's the point of saving the game. So heading back down, we are done with the attic. And now into this final room. So the reasoning for doing this last. So let's just show you. There's someone sitting in that chair. So you want to just <laughs> run straight on in and approach. So the moment you walk up to it, it disappears. The ghost of Milady Dominique. Okay, so no need to be uh, shooting the ghost at all. It's just, I think it's just to confuse you. But anyway, finally, here is some room, but it is guarded by a spike trap. We need to deactivate the spikes. So just find this wonky lighting. That's a lever. 
and then we can grab the bottle. So once we do that, we'll release another wraith. So that's why I opened up the attic and cleared the way there first. So there is the angel statue in the attic. So usually the wraith is a bit better at finding it. I don't think it's found it yet. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Well, that's new. Okay, I assumed it was drawn to the statue. Oh well, it's gone. This is fine. So there is that statue, or if you did not yet do the attic and it's closed up, although hopefully it won't be, <laughs> but uh, you'll have to go the long way round through the fire room to come to here, and there is an alternate statue. So now we do have all of the important items we need. So I will just loop back around this way. Don't really have to, but I will. And this way was blocked. Oh my goodness, these doors. <laughs> and we're back right here. Um, I seem to have stopped on the stairs. You okay, Lara? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're okay. <laughs> so the main items we need. The Grigri Talisman, the Ceremony Skull, Colombian Doll, Dress Fragment, Rum. So now we can start placing them around the table. So just here we'll need to combine the Colombian doll with the dress fragment. And that's opened up that door. So head on in, we'll actually have a, a level transition. So it took a bit of damage, that's fine. We have a vampiric drain, as you could see. This is kind of like a boss section. So just shoot the bat, get that out of your way. Do not touch any of these TNT barrels, they will immediately explode. So down in that hole, there are some flares. The angel stops the vampiric drain and gives you some health back. I'm gonna go through real quick because of the drain. So I picked up some shotgun shells. So use the hunting spear now on this door to open it up. And then just roll in and rush on out again so that we don't get squashed by the barrel. And the flares will be lost to you unless you already picked them up because the barrel lands in that gap. And I do apologize for rushing, it's just because of the drain. Here we have two zombies. Hopefully you'll be able to get them both with one shot. Jolly good. So they're both in the coffins, wait for the smoke to clear and then you can see the spike traps. Awesome stuff. So the drain has stopped just here in this section. So time your way down here because you do have some spikes as well. So grab the pole. And who's this guy? Who's that? Hmm. There are some mysterious shenanigans going on. So now just time the spike here. Awesome. Okay, this door leads back to here. I'm not too sure why, maybe because of the vampiric drain. So you can get to the statue, but it still doesn't make too much sense to me. So around that corner is a med pack. 
And here we have some annoying shenanigans. Okay, so yes, I do save a lot because some parts are, vi are quite tricky for me. So we're going to be chased by a few barrels. I find it slow and steady is the way to go. Don't be sprinting down here. Ooh, okay, and we are completely safe from the vampiric drain now. So, there is this gap. Oh, 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 there's a gap in the ledge that we can hop to. There we go, and I can grab a secret as well. So come as far as you can go and then let go and grab. Okay, and then keep on coming along. And there's this gap with these items. Okay. Apologies for the beeping outside. I hope that's not coming through the mic. It probably is. Okay, so now the way you want to go, just hop to here. There's a lot of jumping around. So as you can see, the floor is lava. I mean, the floor is swamp. So you don't want to fall in. So we're going to be hassled by two bats as well, of course. So I'm just going to rush into the flat so I can deal with the bats. Okay, I just wanted to give a moment for the noise outside to stop. That was actually kind of annoying. <laughs> um, so now, now we have a, a space for me to actually stand and uh, be able to explain the situation. We need to find two levers in order to open that door. So they're both guarded by flames. If you can't find what you're looking for, look for the flames. <laughs> So just here, there's going to be a flame above me, which has just gone out, but I'll wait anyway. So when it's out, just jump back. Awesome. So now for lever number two. So you are safe uh, hanging there because the flame is actually above that section. Okay, the next lever is this way. But now you do have to get out of here though without getting set on fire. So wait for it to go completely dark. I feel like the flame is in like two stages of light. I don't know if that's just me going mad but I've often just dropped down where I thought the flame was out and that I still got set on fire. Just judging from watching the light of the flame. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> but now this door is open. So we do have to loop all the way around this section. So 
so we can grab a med pack just hiding in the gap. So those do feel kind of forgiving. So don't be worrying too much about them. Okay, so after shooting the alligator, just stick to one side of the wall that looks like a button straight ahead. It's a dart trap, so if you're right down the middle, that will do a lot of damage. Oh, bit of damage, my bad. The name's Pettigrew, ma'am. Colonel T. Pettigrew. I've been watching you and I'm impressed. I don't... Time's short, so I'll be brief. My lady to make you, a creature of evil, has taken over my mansion and I cannot rest until she's driven out. To defeat her, you have to destroy at least three of her four sacrificial altars. You have to be careful though, her power is strong and she can drain your energy real fast. Thank you, Colonel. Okay, diary updated, so let's have a look. I saw Colonel Pettigrew's very spirit. He informed me that my guns will be useless against the vampire, but she can still be defeated if at least three of her four sacrificial altars are destroyed. One of Priestess Valette's protective angels appears to be in the room, which should shield me from attacks, but only while I am within the circle. So that's just saying make sure you are close to the statue for it to have any effect. Uh, so now, yeah, we do have a bit of a boss battle going on. So just going to uh, grab a weapon, because now we'll have two guards with guns. Okay, one down. He was sneaky, usually he's just hiding out in this little corner. Well then, so now this is actually where we entered the section just here, so we'll just need to come around beyond this block. So once we speak to Colonel Pettigrew's spirit, the gate that was here has opened up. Welcome to my domain, my child. <laughs> So I am going to try not to use the angel statue. So basically there's uh, the... wherever he is. The guy with the sword, the knight. We need him to uh, break these. Okay, that's one down. Oh, don't shoot me, lady. So hide behind these so that she doesn't shoot you. We want the, uh, come on, yeah, so that's two down, just one more to go. The night is just so slow that it's painful sometimes. <laughs> oh, he coming, he's coming. Go on, go on, mate. Magic. So after you have destroyed three of the four altars, like Colonel Pettigrew said, this casket has moved away and there's an ancient key inside, so that's number one. So now exiting. We are back at Bourbon Street. Deal with him. And him. So now someone in my comments of the last video told me that there actually is a second car if you didn't crash into the gates. I believe it's in here. I always wondered what this was for. But I don't know how to get in there. But I do believe it's in there. 
but I thank the person for their comment. But unfortunately, I, I'm not very much help to be able to tell you how to get there. Like, I wasn't sure if there could be a lever to open this up. Because I looked at the map and yes, there is a, a room with like a, a grating. I don't know if the grating is any use. So I found this out right before needing to do the practice, but this was the only chance I had to uh, actually investigate for myself. So unfortunately, I still don't know how to get to the other car, but we know it's in there. So if you did not yet crash into the gate for the cathedral and also do not know how to get the car, then unfortunately you will need to reload a previous save. So I already did the setup for the Hall of Secrets in the previous video, so if you want to check that out, that is part two. So I've done all of this. So this gate wouldn't actually be open. This is the return path. Once you've finished, you will turn from the gate. And here we go, right here. We will be entering the next level, the Hall of Secrets. Okay, so after ending my recording, I did take a moment to look around. So I'm at the spot where we came back to the street, to the Bourbon Street, after picking up the antique key, and because of the camera angle, I missed this lever. So, I didn't want to be exploring while actually doing a walkthrough. <laughs> so there we go, pull that lever. Right, and here is the additional car. So, yeah, that's the grating I mentioned. I knew that was there because um, I, I used TRView to find items, make sure I pick up every item. And I could see that in this room. I just didn't know how to get in the room. <laughs> but there we go. So thank you so much for that comment to uh, let me know that this car is here. So no soft locking. Nope, that's all good. We have another car. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.